Hi, this is my first episode of Max246 FPV. This is, is going to be a, an episode where I'm going to talk about how to build one of these QX35 that you can find on Banggood, pre-built, but the slight difference is going to be a better camera, that is the Eichin TX03, a microcontroller that has a voice built-in, a FreeSky XM Lite Edition, so it is smaller than a normal one, a Speed, Spintech motors, which are pretty good. I tested them, um, I kind of crashed them quite a few times, but they're much better to fly with. And of course, the normal frame of a QX95. Okay, first of all, we're going to start with a the controller, the flight controller, which is a, a F3 mini version. Um, it comes with a battery connector and a buzzer, which is pretty good for the price you pay. Um, the connectors are pretty easy to do. Uh, let's see if we get to focus. So, one, two, three, and four. Three. Um, here, if I'm wrong, is the OST and this is the buzzer and then here is where the receiver for FreeSky is going to be connected. Maybe let's start by unpacking my frame. What we get on the frame is basically the, the base of the frame plus the top part and then this package we get the little cushions where you need to put them for the motors where they're going to slide inside um, it's better if you get a screwdriver to help you to kind of push it inside which is this is pretty good ish Right, this. Right, so there is the arrows here in the flight controller. Um, which means it's pointing forward, so our controller are going to be like kind of like this. You can actually stick it down, which is going to be kind of like easy. Um, I'm using a double side tape here, maybe it's not the best one. Um, you can maybe find something better than what I'm using right now. Um, because sometimes it doesn't stick very well but I've been flying a couple of months with a bit of flight control stick down with this tape never kind of come off so which is good right so I space this one kind of straight actually just be careful the holes there because those are the holes where you put down the poles just press it down just to make sure that it sticks down. Because we need to be there. So let's open up the motors. Alright. So we have four motors. Now it's time to get the motors in place. So we'll get Necessarily, we want bottom one, so we get it on the bottom right. Motor two, we get it on the top right. Motor three, that is on the bottom left, and motor four, the top left. So maybe the best way is to kind of push them inside. Just be careful. Don't just try to do bend gentle.
So this is what you should have. Right. So now let's kind of twist the cables to get them kind of nicer, tidy build. Like that. On it underneath through the gap. It's good. So we cut kind of the, not too tight, kind of like the right lines. Yeah. Yeah. And we strip the cable. Some solder on each hole, not too much, just a little bit. And then now we taint the, the cables. Side ones plus. You can see the solder of them. So now we solder the motors, and one job is done. So from the schematics here, you can see it says here the first pin is S bus second is 5 volts and then ground so let's get some cables here we have to use kind of these cables they're not the best one but uh, because I don't already have something else around me that is kind of like so again we strip the cables the first is ground the second is 5 volts and then S bus so it's almost done Right, let's tint these cables. Right, so it's time for the camera then. Um, so this is again, so this is a chain or whatever you want to say it's stain TX03 is a 3 in 1 This type of camera has three pins on the corner on the bottom right corner which one is power one is ground and one is uh, video in and out so we're going to cut the corner here that we're going to break off. So we're just going to break off the pin off. Just very careful. Don't break all of them. Video output is orange. So I'm going to solder the side there. That's not bad. That's pretty good. ground, 5 volts, video output and video input. Like not this one. As I say it was a bit hard. And that's it for it. So we got you see there is a plus there that means this is positive so for us the board has buzzer positive on the top 
here and a negative in the bottom. It's pretty easy. Let's try to don't burn the antenna. That will be kind of bad. Now, now that's it's finished, let's turn off the folder and then give a test quickly. It's not bridge. It's good. So, moment of the truth. Let's see if this one is going to be on smoke or not. That's good. That's not bad. But yeah, you can see more or less. I'm not sure what kind of version of free sky, I mean, which version of beta flight or clean flight has. So I'm just gonna do power it off, plug it in, and upload a new one.